In this video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock Kyle as fast and easily as possible. What's up, this is Kirik Bob here, and this is my guide to unlock Kyle. If you want to see more videos for the first Ascendant, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, Descendants, to unlock Kyle, we're gonna need a couple of things before we can get started. First, we're gonna have to have hard mode unlocked, and to do so, we we're gonna have to progress through the main story, which is gonna take us roughly 16 hours to complete. Gonna have to progress through Kingston, Sterling, Vespers, and so on and so on. Once we have hard mode unlocked, then we're gonna need a couple of descendants, and th those descendants are gonna be Sharon. We're gonna be using Sharon for uh, three outposts for this specific guide, so she's gonna be extremely useful. We're also gonna need an electric descendant, so Sharon can do the job. Or if you don't want to uh, use uh, Sharon, you can also use Ultimate Bunny. Or regular bunny. We're also gonna need a chill descendant, so Viesa is required for this guide. And lastly, we're also gonna need a fire descendant. You can either use Blair, you can use Esimo, or you can use Lepic. Me personally, I, I like using Blair or Esimo. I feel like they're, I don't know, good for void fragments, but it's up to you, it doesn't really matter. And lastly, we're gonna be killing the Devourer on hard difficulty, so we're gonna need a, a build to kill the hard difficulty boss. And I've shown on previous videos this build, super easy to acquire. Uh, we're using the Thunder Cage, if you want to see the modules here they are. You do not need all of these, by the way. You can have a build like this, and it should be perfectly fine to get you started. It's going to be a net clear weapon, but for bossing we're going to be using the Vestigial Organ. And the modules for this one are these right here. Very easy to craft. To acquire my bed, we're only using one mushroom, and I believe we're only using one cookie for this specific build. But if you're trying to make it without using cookies, you can use it like this and you should be per perfectly fine. And with this build, we're going to be using regular glay. You do not need to use ultimate glay. Uh, these are the modules that we're going to be using for glay. You do not need a meter maneuvering. Uh, but this is uh, a very basic setup that is going to get you started to be able to boss on hard difficulty. Not too difficult to build, you're only going to need uh, one mushroom and maybe a couple of uh, cookies and you should be all set. And lastly for the external components and reactor, we're using the Materialized Singularity Reactor. This one is not needed, but I'm only using it for the skill cooldown and HP heal modifier. It's really, it really makes a difference when you're about to die. So that one is worth it. And we're using the Annihilation set, the 4-piece. Uh, with a 2 set, we're going to increase our skill duration by 5.7%. And with a 4 set, we're going to increase our damage by 26% when our HP is at 50% or lower. Very good set. If you do not want to use it or you want to be a little more tanky, you can use a Slayer set as well. Okay, Descendants, now let's talk about the components needed to craft Kyle. First, we're going to talk about the blue materials. Which are these. These ones are very easily acquired. You're gonna find them on resource boxes. Uh, this one we can see that it, we can find it on Hagios, this one on Fortress, this one on the Sterile, and so on and so on. Every single one of them has a specific destination attached to them. And these are very easy to acquire. You're just gonna have a click tab on PC or the right stick on console and you're gonna ping with your radar. You're gonna see this diamond on your screen over the resource boxes, interact with them and you're gonna receive the materials for the for that specific region. Now for the purple materials we have the inorganic biogel, the form biometal and compound compound carbon activator. For the inorganic biogel we're gonna be doing any of these strategic outposts. These two are normal difficulty but I highly recommend that you do these two on, on hard. Me personally I did this one on the low supply depot. I just find that it's extremely easy. It takes you like 15 seconds to do it. And the amorphous material patterns for this one, they're pretty good too. So I would highly recommend that you do this one. You're going to be pretty much killing two birds with one stone. For the deformed biometal, it's the same thing. We're going to do any of these outposts. Me personally, I like doing this one. Uh, the amorphous material pattern 118 and 19, they're pretty good. So I highly recommend that you, you're doing this one. For the same reason, you're going to be killing two birds with one stone. And lastly, for the compound... Carbon Activator, wow what a tongue twister. We're gonna be doing the Mystery Send mission and the Wynite Gulch in normal difficulty. I found that this one is the fastest, even compared to this one's in hard difficulty. 
So I highly recommend that you do this one. We're just gonna get to this room, and once you see the yellow bar enemy, kill him, acquire the materials, and then you're gonna leave the mission. And as you're acquiring these materials, just remember to do it as a private operation. It's not, not a difficult mission, it's a normal difficulty, it's gonna take you like 3 minutes per run. And you do not want to leave your opponents, I mean your uh, teammates playing by themselves. Okay, Descendants, now let's talk about the blueprints. We have the Enhanced Cells, the Stabilizer, the Spiral Catalyst, and the Code. For the Enhanced Cells, we're going to be using the Amorphous Material Pattern 63. This one has a 20% chance of giving us the Enhanced Cells. We're going to find this one in the Stale Land Repository. And the good thing about this one is that the Outpost is it's in the same location. We're going to be using Sharon for this one. Uh, 62 can be acquired uh, without sharing, but since we're going for 63, we're going to be using sharing. It has a 25% chance of dropping. After you get the amorphous material pattern, uh, you, you can either switch to bunny to do this void fragment faster, or you keep using sharing, do the void fragment, get the void shards required to do the void uh, fusion reactor, and then interact with a reconstructed device. If you do not get the enhanced cells, repeat the process. Outpost, Void Fragment, and Reactor. Alright Descendants, now I'm going to show you how to do a successful Stealth Infiltration. For that, we, like I said, we're going to be using Sharon. And very important, to be successful every time on the Stealth Infiltrations, we're going to want to have our Skill Extension, or Skill Duration increased. Skill Extension is going to be more than enough, it's going to increase our duration to 13.6 seconds. Which is pretty much enough for every single outpost in the game. I haven't seen a single one where I need more skill duration. So that's a must if you're planning on doing stealth infiltrations on outposts. Increased defense is gonna be mandatory almost and increased HP as well. Every single other module that I have right here, it's not necessary. I just use them because I made a specific build for Sharon that I use for, for the outposts. If you want to take a look again, here it is. But like I said, the only modules needed are increased HP, increased defense, and skill extension. Alright, if you guys have never done stealth infiltration, I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to be using Sharon, we're going to use her invisibility. Now we're going to interact with these reactors. We're going to deactivate them one by one. We're going to be very quick because we only have 13 seconds to deactivate all of them. As you guys can see, we pretty much have enough time to deactivate all four. Now the only thing missing is killing the boss, we kill him, and we're done. We can now collect the exclusive amorphous material for Sharon. For the stabilizer, we're going to be using the amorphous material pattern 76. This one has a 32% chance of giving us the stabilizer. And this one can be found by killing the devourer on hard difficulty, which is why we made the, the build for Glay. Um, and to get the amorphous material pattern, we're going to be doing the sepulcher mission on hard difficulty. To access a mission, we're just going to interact with this terminal right here. Our difficulty. The poker. 76. You do not need to change the amorphous material pattern. Just confirm that it's there. It started on private or public. After you get the amorphous material pattern, head back to Albion. And then go fight the devourer. After you kill him, interact with the reconstructed device for a chance to get the stabilizer. Now for the spiral catalyst, we're going to be using the amorphous material pattern 123. This one has a 10% chance of giving us a Spiral Catalyst. This is going to be the hardest part of getting Kyle. 10% is not too much. And for this one, we're going to be doing the Fortress Defense Line Reactor, which is found on the Fortress. And to get the Amorphous Material Pattern, we're going to be doing the Reactor on the same area, or the Outpost. We're going to be using Sharon for this one. It has a 25% chance of dropping. After you get the Amorphous Material Pattern, it over here, switch to Viesa. We're gonna do this Void Fragment right here. After you get the materials required, switch to Glay or whatever is your main character. And we're gonna do the Fusion Reactor. Repeat this process until you get the Spiral Catalyst. And lastly for the code, we're gonna be using the Amorphous Material Pattern 101. This one has a 20% chance of giving us a code. And this one uh, can be found on the Absorbatory. But to get the Amorphous Material Pattern, we're gonna do the... Outpost that is found on the shipment base on the Wynite Gulch. We're going to be using Sharon for this one as well. This one has a 25% chance of dropping as well. For the Monomer Shards, we're going to go to the Fortress. And we're going to head to the Bunny Cave, which is found on the Fallen Ark in the Fortress. 
this one is very populated. There's always somebody playing this Void Fragment because it's a very known farming spot for descendants and weapons. So in less than 10 minutes, you should have plenty of materials to do many reactors. And for the organic, we're going to be heading to Hagios. And we're going to do the Void Fragment found on the Doom base. We're not going to be needing a lot of organic because it's the secondary Void Shard uh, material needed. So with a couple of runs, you should have enough materials for a cup for four runs. After you have the materials, then we're gonna head to the ob observatory in the Wena Gulch, and we're gonna do the white fusion reactor. We're gonna kill the boss, and then lastly, we're gonna interact with the reconstructed device for a chance to get the code. After you have all the materials needed, we're gonna head back to Alpion, and we're gonna speak with the Nice. Then we're gonna research your quest. Type Kyle. Then we're gonna start re researching every single one of its components. They're gonna take eight hours to research. I recommend that you do these three before the code. While these three are researching, you can find the start finding for the code, so that you're kind of like doing two things at the same time, if that makes sense. After these three are done researching and you have the code, then you can start researching for Kyle. It's gonna take 16 hours to research, and after 16 hours, he's finally yours for you to use. And that's all for this video, Descendants. If it was entertaining or useful, please leave a like, it really helps out. And if you want to see more videos for the first Descendants, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.